You know, the Connecticut Lighting has hardware. You mean like hammers and nails and screwdrivers? Uh, no, oh. not exactly. All they right. have what's called decorative hardware. Oh, I yeah, knew they had really a lot, pretty. but not decorative hardware. Yeah, that hardware. can make any cabinet or door look amazing. You got to take a look at this. All right. Oh, I think I got the wrong screwdriver. I think I got the wrong screws. Scott, what's going on? Oh, hey, Todd. How are you? I'm good. How are you? What are you doing? I'm, pu I'm putting the screw in this piece of hardware. No, no, no. We don't, we don't sell screws and hammers and screwdrivers. We sell decorative hardware. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm glad we cleared up that little snafu. <laughs> We're talking about decorative hardware. Decorative hardware. Todd Absolutely. Director, of course, the president of Connecticut Lighting. Good to see you. Good to see you. This department is expansive. It's huge. It, it is, you know, and uh, the thing about it is that you don't realize how many options you actually have, especially when it comes to cabinet hardware, like, you know, what we're looking at. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many pulls and knobs we have on display. There's probably thousands of them. But, you know, as you take a look, all the different styles and finishes and sizes, I mean, it, it's just endless. It sure is. And the, the funny thing is, it's Connecticut lighting, but you probably sell one of the most just extensive lines of hardware in Connecticut, if not the Northeast. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, there's not a lot of outlets to buy decorative hardware. There's really not. You okay. know, um, you know, you figure the home centers are out there selling it. Um, the the product is out there at the lumber yards, and I, you know, obviously, if you're doing a kitchen remodel, there's some options there, maybe on a board or two. But there's very few places to where you can actually come in and get service while you pick out all of your hardware. Um, and again, you know, we'll help you out with sizing. You know, the, the very common. You know, people are doing a kitchen and they want to know, you know, what size should my poles be on the drawers, or how do I should I use poles or um, you know knobs on the doors? Right. And and we can walk through that whole process. And the thing is this. So many different choices you want to make sure you're doing the right thing yeah, absolutely and you know we, we can help guide those those conversations right. well, one thing I always like to point out too when you when you take a look at this stuff you'll notice every single pull and knob is priced is priced so and you know exactly how much you're gonna be spending absolutely because you know in a lot of cases for a kitchen you may need 30 40 50 60 80 of them depending on how many cabinets you have that's very true and uh, you, you really want to know if you're looking at a three dollar item or a sixty dollar item because we have both all right so I'm looking at top knobs right Todd it, top knobs is a is a very common um, cabinet hardware brand that's out there again and, and you'll notice uh, designs and styles for everything, um, moderate price points. The majority of the product here is made out of zinc. You know, we're not talking about solid brass materials or anything like that. But but we are talking zinc materials, so it, it'll 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 do just fine over time. But um, very moderate price points. That's excellent. When you take a step back here, um, you get into M Tech, which is a, is a bit of a step up, but not the extreme high end. And and you'll notice, uh, you know, a bit of a different design element when, when you go, you know, you'll see um, just some, some different finishes and some different color combinations and just a whole different feel than just that mainstream hardware. I mean, this is so cool. Yeah, it's just different. It's really different. Very different. All right, what line is this, Todd? So, so this is a company called Rocky Mountain. Everything is solid bronze made in Idaho. And again, um, the cabinet hardware just incredible. This is the toilet paper That's the, yeah, that I mean, is. I want you to see how heavy this is. I'm going to just drop it. Ready? I mean, that's solid as a rock. Next up. So this is a company called Seattle. And again, really, really cool, unique hardware that, you, that you're probably not going to see anywhere else. But we see a lot of this being used down in the beach communities, down the Connecticut that. shoreline. Um, just some great accent pieces to, to that beach feel. It's handcrafted cabinet hardware. Absolutely. Poles, knobs, you know, again, um, just the, the uniqueness of the glass is just very interesting. That's beautiful. Todd, if you want something that's made in America, this is Water Street in Lakewood, New York. This is Water Street Brass. Again, solid brass line, beautiful product. Uh, you know, as you can see, again, you, know, you look at some of the design elements of some of this hardware. It's beautiful. It's, just, it's amazing. What about Made in Connecticut? Made in Connecticut's right behind you. Oh. This is uh, Colonial Bronze. They're right in Torrington, Connecticut. That's incredible. It is. And, um, you know, as you take a look, again, this stuff is all 
machined and made here right in Connecticut. So some of the things I like to point out, one of the things that's becoming very popular, especially in the design end, is living finishes. What this means is there's no lacquer on any of this hardware and it will change and age over time. That's why these are all the same finish and every single one of them looks like a bit of a different shade because as you touch it, the ox um, they oxidize and uh, you get a lot of change inside the metals there. One, two, three, four, come on baby, say you love me five, six, seven times. House numbers, Todd. <laughs> yeah, house numbers. <laughs> you got it. We, we do. All we right. Do. It's for we, sale right here. Yes, right here. Many different styles of house numbers again and, and as you'll notice th those are actually raised house numbers they look really cool todd lisa jarvis this is custom design yeah, yeah. custom designed uh, designer hardware um again just really unique different pieces now again the these are the sort of pieces that will just take a standard piece of furniture and just totally elevate the, the look and feel of it so we've seen some some pretty unique things done with some of this hardware They've also got keyless entry options, doorbells, and so much more. Hi, Todd. All right, you don't sell the barn doors, but you do sell the barn hardware. Uh, absolutely. B barn door track hardware, extremely popular today. All different styles and designs and finishes for so many applications. It's really beautiful. Thank you. All right, so for this and much more, check out Connecticut Lighting. They're right here on Murphy Road in Hartford. Also, they have a location in Southington. I got to go feed the horses. Take care. <laughs> Poor Todd, the things you put him through. But you are very creative. Thank you. Really One, creative. Two, three, four, come, come on, baby. baby say. We had to do that scene a couple of times. Oh, you did? Yeah. Why? Todd was laughing. Uh. All right, if you would like more information, on, that was the clean take. If you would like more information on anything you've just seen, just head to ConnecticutLighting.com or visit either one of their two showrooms, one in Hartford and one in Southington.